Holding you is a warmth that I thought I could never find. When the babies were trying to get it together, we were rehearsing in a, a cellar on Tooley Street, which is down by the Thames between London Bridge and Tower Bridge, right in a warehouse, right? And it was always foggy outside. It was like Walt Disney's version of London, you know? And there was a little pub on the corner, and there was this little Cockney guy in there going, yeah, my old man said, follow the van, everybody, you know? And we'd come out of there and go and have a pint of beer in there. And it was staggeringly like a new world, you know? I think we knew we might be onto something. And uh, they were great times. Who came up with the name The Babies? Well, the manager, Adrian Miller. Uh, me and Adrian were having a row. And he said, you're a bunch of fucking babies. And he ran out. And we all just stood there like, you know, have we just lost our manager? What's, you know? And then he ran back in. And he said, that's it. The babies. At the time, I was listening to probably all the bands on the scene, like the Small Faces. And Golden Era. You know, seriously. I mean, I heard Moontown, and that was a big influence on me, lyrically, production-wise. A rhythm section wise, bass playing wise, guitar, I mean everything on that record spoke to me. Driving, 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 driving. I was very deep into soul music and blues and there wasn't a lot of people in Britain that were white that were doing that. And so when we hit Isn't It Time and Every Time I Think of You, my natural instinct is to treat it like one of those great soul classics, you know, and bring in some African-American singers and hit it. Two of them were church. Choirs, singers. Yeah, I mean, they were, and one was like a really slinky, beautiful, really sexy girl that was the opposite of the other two. The other two sang in church every Sunday. Falling in love was the last thing I had on my mind. Holding you is the warmth that I thought. Ron Nevison had this piano demo of this guy singing his new time. And it was like, you wouldn't believe it. It was like kind of out of tune, and he's going, but he was a good songwriter. But it was way, it was really not. But I would kept thinking, what would Steve Marriott do with that? So I looked at it like a humble pie song with the Blackberries, you know? And we did an arrangement, and I worked out... I mean, it was pretty... It just wrote itself, but the original was so far away. 
I felt almost like a writer on it. I really did. We took somebody's pony, a uh, donkey, and made it a racehorse, you know? I mean, really. Yeah.